Voters in Colorado sued the state to get Trump removed from the ballots as a Republican candidate for the primary based on section three of the 14th amendment, which says that no insurrectionists are allowed to run for office. It doesn't say that the insurrection has to be successful. It just says that if you planned and took part in an attempt to overthrow the peaceful government, the peaceful transfer of power, then you cannot run for office. Um, initially, there was some discussion about whether this included the president. I don't understand why it wouldn't, but the, uh, the Colorado Supreme Court decided, yes, that does include running for president. At this point, there's a little bit of a time crunch as to what will happen on the appeals. Trump's people have tried to fast track this to the Supreme Court of the United States. Um, they initially were like, chill out. But now, if they're gonna rule on this, it has to be before early January, which is what, two weeks? Because that's when Colorado's primary ballot deadline falls. What does this mean? I don't think we'll know until the Supreme Court weighs in. Um, if the Supreme Court decides that they are going to overturn what the Colorado Supreme Court said, that is going to set a weird precedent because it will go against the way that they have been reading the Constitution um, in this round of the Supreme Court because they are very, very conservative. They have read it very literally. But if they uphold it, then this could start a whole bunch of lawsuits that will kick Trump off the ballots. So we don't know. We don't know what's happening. Um, it's We're gonna just keep an eye on it and see what's going on um, as the weeks progress. Either way, it's gonna set some kind of a precedent if the Supreme Court weighs in. I don't think they have any integrity. So I imagine they're gonna reinstate him and act like it is completely in line with the way that they read and interpret the Constitution. But we'll see.